Hi everybody and welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name is Miss Tori and I'm here in the Whitewater Public Library's Makerspace. The library offers a new take and make craft kit every week. Just stop by the library, grab your kit and follow along with the craft video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page so that you don't miss out on any library programs. This week we have a craft that's great for kids. We are going to be making this woven basket. This basket is made out of a paper plate and yarn. So we're going to use a weaving technique to help us complete this project. And you can put whatever you want in your basket. I'm using my basket to hold some craft supplies, some ribbon and some more yarn that I have. Craft kits for these woven baskets are going to be available at the library March 15th through March 20th. In your craft kit this week, you are going to get a paper plate and some different colors of yarn. At home, you're going to need a pencil and some scissors. Some optional tools are a ruler and some tape. These are handy to have, but you can definitely do this project without them. We are going to need to divide up our plate into 13 sections. I'm going to do this by using these little ribs or these little bumps in the side of the plate as my guide. First I'm going to make a little mark in the center of one of these ribs on my plate. Now I'm going to alternate leaving three spaces between my marks and four spaces. So this first one here, I made a mark and I count one, two, three in between and then made another mark. Next time I'm gonna leave four in between. So here's my mark, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna make a mark on the next one right there. So I'm gonna alternate leaving three spaces and four spaces in between my marks and work my way all around the plate. Here's my last mark. One, two, three, make a mark. Now we're gonna leave four. One, two, three, four, make a mark on the next one. One, two, three, make a mark. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And at the end, there should be one, two, three spaces left. All right, let's count and make sure that we have enough spaces. We wanna make sure that we have 13. It's important that we have an uneven number. So here's my first space. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We want to have thirteen spaces. Now I'm going to use my ruler to connect the little line that I made with the center circle on the plate. See this circle right here? So you can do this without a ruler. You can just draw a line, but I like using the ruler just to keep everything nice and neat. to take our scissors and cut a narrow V shape on either side of our line. So we're not cutting directly on the center line. We're cutting around it like this to create a little V. 
just like that. So just like this. Till we hit that center circle. And it creates this little tab right here. And we're gonna keep working our way around until we have 13 little tabs. tabs in towards the center at this circle line just like this so now we have created this little bowl shape um, we're starting to see our basket come together um, so what I want to do is trim down any tabs that are really overlapping with one another um, for example, like these ones right here, I'll trim the larger tabs a little bit so they're not overlapping so much because we don't want that. So pretty much what I'm doing is widening the V that I've already created. start weaving. I'm going to take one of my balls of yarn and put it through one of the spaces. So you could use a piece of tape to tape this yarn to the inside of the bowl while you start weaving, but you really don't even need to do that. You can just hold it in place with your fingers and start weaving. So first you're going to put the yarn to the outside of the bowl and then bring it on the inside like that. Next you're going to go to the outside, see, and bring it back to the inside. And you're just going to continue like that, wrapping the yarn to the outside, to the inside, to the outside, to the inside, just like that. Once you get back to the beginning, now it's going to start um, going on the opposite side that it did last time. So now it's on the inside. Last time this tab was on the inside and now we're gonna bring the yarn to the outside. So you're gonna be doing the opposite of what you did the last round. Continue working your way around your basket. You wanna keep your tension just right. That means not too tight or too loose. If you pull too tight, it's going to warp your basket and make it have a weird shape. If you do it too loose, then you might have, you know, kind of big loops of yarn hanging off the side of your basket. switch colors. So I'm going to trim my yarn 
select my next color and I'm going to tie these two pieces together. I'm going to do my best to tie them together so that when I continue weaving, the knot is on the inside of the bowl instead of on the outside. When I bring this piece towards the inside, now my knot is on the inside and not showing on the outside of the bowl. Later on, I will trim these little tails of yarn. basket until you only have a little bit of space at the top just like this trim your yarn and leave a tail now I'm going to tuck in my tails I'm going to use something pointy like a pencil to help smush this tail underneath the rest of the threads So you hide it away like that. I'm having trouble tucking this first tail underneath, so I'm just going to trim it. I'm also going to trim off these little pieces where I tied my yarn together to switch the color. And now we have our completed basket. You can put whatever you want in your basket. I'm going to use mine to store some craft supplies. And there we have our completed woven basket. If you complete this activity, please share your photos with us. We love to see your completed projects. Thanks for watching.